Ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news in the sport of boxing. We all knew this day was coming. We have been actually waiting to figure out what was going to happen because we all know we're coming off the heels of Showtime leaving the sport of boxing. Um, and we're going to get all into it, man. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're rocking with the sport of boxing. We're going to be bringing nonstop news and updates here at Flight Sports TV. Listen, <clears throat> boxing is, could change forever. You know, um, this is a big situation that's going on. Um, I'm here to break to you that um, Netflix is exploring, you know, and further testing live sports program the waters with a boxing card headlined by Jake Paul and a separate show headlined by fighters from Al Heyman's PBC, according to reports. So um, I'm here to tell you that the sport of boxing could change forever. Netflix, we all know the conglomerate that that is. Um, Netflix has went through a lot of series of changes and the exclusivity that Netflix has, I think, is, is top tier. You know, they have movies, exclusive shows, things of that nature. And if they were able to bring in boxing, um, Netflix would change the game. Um, I hope that the deal gets done, to be honest with you, um, because I just think that's ideal and I think that could shake out boxing. But don't rule out, you know, anything that's going on with Oscar De La Hoya. He's got a, a, a nice plan out uh, and I advise you to go check out where Oscar De La Hoya is outlined for the sport of boxing. Um, the, the developmental and potential venture from the streaming giant arrives. After October 17th, um, the announcement declared that Showtime Sports would cease operations and end its 37-year run production, producing boxing events. Pardon me. Um, we all know the PBC has been providing Showtime with non-stop stuff. You understand? Just non-stop fight after fight. You know, um, even still up to this day, you know, um, Showtime last two shows are set to be staged November 25th on pay-per-view and December 16th on Premier Cable Network. Um, in the recent weeks, media reports have indicated that PVC has been in discussions with Amazon and DAZN as they explore the stage their slate of events in 2024. So clearly things got to get done. You know, there's a lot of fighters out there. There's a lot of fights to be made. You know, you got a lot of stars returning, you know, with chips on their shoulder. You know, you got a lot of champions that's ready to get back in the mix. You know, so I, I love the, <clears throat> I love how things are being moved. Like, you know, we're trying to get, get going and they need to find a new home. You know, Showtime leaving, that's just crazy. But um, give it, give a major props for for doing what they gotta do. Um, what I will say is the PBC roster is just wild. You know, you talking about superstar. You know, after superstar, you talking about Canelo Alvarez. You talking about Javante Tank Davis, Terrence Bud Crawford. You understand those names alone. Then we get into the Deontay Wilders, the Arrow Spence Juniors, you know, I mean, Frank Martin, I mean, it goes on, you got Roly Romero, you have, you have all of these different um, fighters that people tune into for various reasons, you know, um, and some could truly be going down. Jake Paul, meanwhile, continues to just do his thing, you can't. Jake Paul, I mean, like I said, a lot of people don't like it. Like, I, I, I have no problem with Jake Paul. I just wish that um, that the other boxers was able to be respected and covered, you know, um, equally. You know, that's just my opinion. You know, but but but, but to whom I'm not a judge, I'm not. I'm, I have no problem with Jake Paul. I think he he he's doing good business for himself, and if he can get it done, he need to get it done. You know, these people sign up for the fight too. You know, so it is what it is. Um, on October 16th, it was announced that Paul's next bout would be presented on the zone on December 15th. On October 19th, Paul's promotional company, MVP and the announced a renewed pact 
to present the most valuable prospect series six events in 2024. Jake Paul's August 5th pay-per-view fight against Nate Diaz was presented by DAZN and ESPN+. Plus. We all know the fight and all that. Um, Netflix released a documentary earlier this year on Paul as part of Untold series. You know, um, I'm going to give some quotes. It says, we aren't anti-sports. We're pro-profit. Netflix co-chief executive Ted Sarandos previously stated um, this back in the days, you know, but, you know, we're we going to figure out are they going to acquire a live sports programming, right? But I, I think that they're going to try to go after it. I think everybody's going to try to go after it. And it's good to try to get a bit and more going. You know, I mean, that's business, right? You know, so um, Netflix first um, into streaming live sports arrives November 14th at an event billed as Netflix Cup featuring golf professionals and Formula One drivers who star in, in separate Netflix documentaries. As new players like Netflix, Amazon consider adding boxing to their menu of offerings, the sports power brokers realize that there is need for market correction. You know, so, I mean, we're going to figure out um, people are going to have a problem. You know, everybody's going to say what they want to say, no matter what. The PBC is not, they're just not very liked. You know, we just got to call it how we see it. Um, everybody has an opinion on the PBC, and it's not always good. And that's what I've known a lot, you know, as just, just listening to people talk box, and they always have something, some sometimes some negative undertones towards the PBC. You know, whether that's people who don't like Al Heyman, you know, uh, it is what it is. But boxing is um, is an incredible place, you know, believe it or not. And I think it's a place to get better. I think it's, I think we in the beginning of something, you know, but it's just getting started, you know, but we in the beginning of it. And um, it's going to be spectacular. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that the PBC is headed for um, Netflix? Um, and let me know your thoughts on wh how would that be? What would it look like? You know, it could be, it'd be very convenient, you know, but you see what's going on now. Uh, the future is streaming. You know, it's clear, you know, what's going on. And for some of these networks and different sports and stuff like that to get with the stream and stuff, I think you can get ahead of the curve. You know, because nine times out of ten, most people don't, uh, a lot of people don't even have cable. You know, these people are streaming services, you know, and you know, they're able to get an endless amount of content, you know, and you see Netflix, they're looking to add to their portfolio. Where would the PVC land? Let me know in the chat. It's Flight Sports. Make sure you subscribe if you want more boxing news updates and more.